I think it's just super important to be in our Bible as Christians because it's so important to understand the nature of God, the character of God, so that we we know who God is and who he is not. Hey, it's Monday. I set my alarm for five today and it is 6.47, so. <gasps> the sky is beautiful. <laughs> Guys, I just finished Isaiah. Um, I just can't believe it. Sometimes I wake up and I just feel super heavy, like emotionally. So I journal it helps me have better bible time because then i'm like like my mind is kind of more free and i kind of took the time to let it all out and now i'm ready to just let god you know work with it heal it and it's just something therapeutic for me he would still heal it if i did not journal and i know that but i just two years from now and what I was writing about and how God worked um, to heal, to restore, to redeem um, anything that I was going through then and what he taught me and it's just really nice. So this morning I'm feeling a devotional. I'm not always feeling a devotional but today I am. deeper to get a deeper meaning out of it um and so i regularly do that if my phone is in my room sometimes i'll intentionally leave my room leave my phone in another room because i find that it's really nice not to have a phone in the room and sometimes it does improve my quiet time like just to know that my phone is not in my room there's no distractions but for when i have school i need the alarm so i can't sleep with it outside of the room and if I need to look up a word, I'll look up a word and it's just super nice because it's one thing to read it, but when you actually know what a word means, it takes you a step deeper and it makes you want to um, strive to be a better servant of Christ Jesus. So like gracious, it seems pretty self-explanatory, right? But when you look it up, you see it in a new light and it's really refreshing and it really helps you understand the bible and when there's words that i completely just have no clue what they mean it's totally fine just look it up because you could be missing something or like if you feel that little voice in you saying like wow i wonder what that means like that could be the holy spirit like prompting you to get a deeper meaning out of it and so you just need to follow those voices where it's like oh wait what where else in the bible does it use the word redeemed and then it gives you this whole other meaning and so it's kind of just like following wherever camera cut out so we'll just continue because i don't have that much time no it's brandon melville hmm? so sometimes i will date a prayer and so then I, when i'm flipping through my bible i can kind of see that prayer um and what the chapter prompted me to pray and then over time just kind of see how god worked how god answered that prayer what god did in that meantime my bed is not made i won't fix it i love chapter seven so much wow wow I feel like it's funny, like with the Old Testament, I can like 
usually read like a bunch of chapters but then with the gospels i can only take one chapter and that's my limit like i would encourage you if you feel like oh wow like i just learned so much in that one chapter and my brain is super full like for me what really works is not going forward it's just like i don't like god just did so much god just taught me so much so i'm not going to overload my brain for me it's better to take it slow and really 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 meditate and marvel at his word than just read 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 for the sake of reading or to try to like check off a box like uh, if I planned to have the Gospel of Matthew done this month and it doesn't happen, but I actually remember things from it because I meditated and because I let God, like, I let it ponder in my heart. I let it just penetrate my heart and I let, like, that takes time. And then that's fine. Like, I'd rather read one chapter a month. I'd, I'd rather go slow and actually get things than go fast for the sake of going fast. And obviously there's benefits to reading it um, quicker and how you get more of like a full picture. But my, my guess, what I go by is like, if I'm just full, if God just like, if there were so many things where I'm like, wow, that's really good. Wow, that's really good. Wow, I want to remember that. Then I'll stop because I don't want to overload my brain. And I really want this to live in my heart so i guess my prayer is like god let this be hidden in my heart so that i don't forget it because i i've already read matthew 7 and that's why there's so many um markings on it because i already read this like it's the second time i read through matthew and i just forgot so much of it and i think it's because before i was trying to rush through it and so i really don't want to rush and i really want to remember and the fact of the matter is is that we are forgetful people we are bound to not remember everything but that's just my little that's my idea on like going slow so what really helps me is like if i feel full of matthew i'll go to um a letter in the new testament you know or i'll go to a psalm because for me in my brain it's like i guess it's like different meters of like old testament new testament gospel gospels new testament but i when i say new testament usually i think of like a letter um and then psalm proverb and for me it's like when they get filled up i can't read anymore but i can read the other books I don't know if that makes sense. But like right now, like I want to go to a letter. I, I'm, I can't take any more gospel, but I can take some letter. I'm not saying that like this is the system that you should go by or like you should do exactly what I'm doing. But this has been just what's worked for me and what I've noticed is just the best system and makes the most sense. Um, but it, it could be different for you. So this is just like, it's seven o'clock. Um... I really don't need to get up until like 7.20 um, so I could stay here and just kind of like I could keep reading or do some prayer and worship and I'm definitely feeling like a little worship dance party um, So I have to admit something to you. I got my nails done today. That's why they're different. It is Wednesday. It is not the morning. It is 4.10. And I didn't have school today. So you'd think, oh, Naima, you don't have school on Wednesday? You're going to have the best and longest quiet time ever. I thought that too. I did. I really did. And guess what? I did not even have my quiet time today. And that is really annoying because it's not like oh, I was late, or, like, I just didn't wake up on time, or, like, whatever. No, like, I just didn't have it. I just didn't have, like, I don't even know what to tell you. I just didn't have it. <laughs> so, I think in a situation like this, what the enemy would try to do, and just, he probably has done this to you, he'll be like, how did you miss a day? Like, you are so stupid. You can't manage your time. <laughs> 
Um, so obviously, God wants his children in the word, okay? Gaining some... Gaining some spiritual agility. Can I say that? Yes. Um, but I think we can't get it wrong that God is not like, Naima, like, what the heck? Why didn't you get in your Bible? God is like, oh, you didn't have your Bible time? Like, come, like, have it now. Like, it's okay. Like, come now. Like, not that reading the Bible isn't important and a huge part of your Christian faith. But... We cannot fall into a cycle of condemnation that, oh, you didn't read your Bible, like, God doesn't want to talk to you because you missed a day. Like, you don't have to, like, it, what? No, that's not how God works. I'm sorry. To, no, it's not. What I'm going to try to do, guys, is have my Bible time before I go to sleep. And hopefully that happens. I've never felt this pressure before. <laughs> I should be feeling it though. Honestly, you guys are keeping me accountable this week. Like, I'm not even. <laughs> you really are. Like, I need to get ready for youth group. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Glad I got that off my chest. I feel better. I feel better. I just do. Okay. <laughs> it's 10:22. I do want to go to sleep, but before I go to sleep, I'm just gonna read. Um, a psalm that I've been meditating on. It's Psalm 51. Create in me a clean heart. Guys, I'm just, I'm telling you right now. Start sleeping with your Bible open next to you. Or like hold your Bible. up around one with coughs and I couldn't go back to sleep a little bit because that was just bad so I'm just gonna like read whatever right now and like rest I don't even know if I'm going to school but I just don't feel like my head like my body um I took a coldies last night and I woke up with it still in my mouth that's kind of gross. My mom put a diffuser on for me. I had some essential oils. Shout out to anyone who has an essential oil mom. I'm with you here. I'm with you. What we're going to do in a situation like this, we adapt. Okay, we adapt. So, like, if you're not feeling well, if you feel like you don't have the strength in your the strength in your body to do this we're gonna open up the bible app guys we're gonna go to proverbs a wise son hears his father's instruction but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke from the fruit of his mouth a man eats what is good but he who loves him is diligent to discipline him the righteous has enough to satisfy his appetite but the belly of the wicked suffers want Wow, that's so good. That is so good. Chapter 14. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. That is so good. Is it not shutting off? Oh, wait. Guys, did I, what, what did I do? Shoot, did I break it? So it's 7.05, I don't think I'm going to school today either. I definitely feel a lot better, but I think I just need to rest. Like, I just need to accept it. I need to rest, I need to stay home, don't push it. It's Friday, like, you'll have the weekend and you'll go back Tuesday strong. I'm obviously gonna do a lot of work today though. Um, and I have some stuff to catch up on and some, some stuff that's due today. But, we're gonna have our Bible time. I'm definitely feeling a lot better. I hate it when I do that. Like, why did I do that? I think it's really important to um, establish the difference between reading your Bible and studying your Bible, okay? Because studying means you're going deep, you're going heavy. And when you're reading, I view it at least as more of a 
you're getting more of the bigger picture. <laughs> Why did I just make that face? I feel like this is just something um, like kind of separate from what I'm saying right now, but it adds to this. <sighs> I think that your relationship with God may need different things on different days. And just because you're a Christian doesn't mean you have to read 15 chapters a day and that doesn't mean that like you're a better christian than any other christian it's just it's it's not like that i don't think we do need to um prioritize the reading of scripture and praying and um worship and all of these things all of these spiritual disciplines but just that's how i kind of approach it is that like this is a relationship and some days you might feel a little heavier than others um, and some days your relationship needs different things as an earthly relationship would. So most of the time I'll read when I do go into the Bible, but sometimes I'll study it and go a little deeper when I feel like a passage is just really sticking out. So I'll use this method right here, the SOAP method, a very popular um, technique to study the Bible. S stands for scripture. O stands for observation. What are you noticing about the text? A, application. How does this apply to my life what am i taking away p prayer um what prayer am i going to pray from this and what i do is add in a c because i think it's important that when we're reading scripture we're reading it to understand the character of god deeper and not just get super wrapped up in like what is this going to do for me? a lot of the times we need to make it more god focused and when i find myself struggling to have motivation to read my bible i usually find that it's because i'm saying i'm saying to myself what can i get out of this instead of what can i learn about god while reading this and so i think it's super important to add that c in there um try to identify just and have a deeper meaning of what is the character of god because that also comes into a way bigger theme of like understanding the character of god will influence how you walk through trials and whether you worship or whether you fall apart it's kind of a bigger discussion but that's something quick i'm probably gonna stop here for today and i think we've had enough quiet times i think you get the idea so i'm gonna end the video here i hope that this encouraged you or motivated you or did whatever god intended it to do for you and comment what book of the bible you're reading or any bible reading tips some good devotionals It is a lamp to our feet, okay?